Oh, it's heavy. Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful day in Vegas. Look at that view. And I'm quite excited because uh, I've been to Vegas many times, but I've never explored the uh, old Vegas or the downtown Vegas. So I can't wait to explore and do a lot of walking, maybe just a bit of eating. And it's really cool because I got a room with a nice suite, a little kitchenette. So I'm just getting ready for the day and uh, thank you so much for joining. I can't wait to explore downtown Vegas together. And also a thank you to Magic Spoon for sponsoring this video. Uh, Magic Spoon makes delicious cereals. And you know, until now, I've been avoiding cereals uh, recently uh, because uh, out there all the traditional cereals have high sugars and high carbs, just not too healthy for you. But nice to know that Magic Spoon makes cereals that are high in protein but low in carbs and still gives you that wonderful Saturday morning feel when you were a kid. Uh, they have many flavors to choose from. Cocoa, blueberry fruity frosted, and my favorite peanut butter. I enjoy this at home, but also bring some with me when I'm traveling because when you're traveling, sometimes you just don't know when your next meal is going to be. So having a high protein breakfast really keeps you full throughout the day and you can travel and explore to your heart's content. And let's start our breakfast with a little bit of milk. I usually go milk first. And then the cereal. And that way you can control your cereal to milk distribution. A little bit of saturation with the cereal, a little bit of dunk in the milk, and to a good day. Mm. Crunchy cereal with just the right absorption of milk. Very good. And peanut butter is my favorite, but cocoa is actually pretty good as well. And the Magic Spoon cereal is great because they're gluten-free, wheat-free, soy-free, grain-free and non-GMO. And uh, for my keto friends, uh, they're really great because they're keto friendly, low in carbs and very delicious. Again, brings you back to that Saturday morning feel when you're a kid enjoying a great cereal in front of cartoons. Mm. So give it a try. Magic Spoon cereal is available in select stores. And if they're not available in your area, visit Magic Spoon online. And there you'll find many flavors to choose from, many selections, and they've also provided a promotion for a sample pack with all the delicious flavors. And I'll leave that in the video description below. And if you want to try some of the flavors or grab a variety pack to try them all, make sure to use promo code Tim Lee at checkout to save $5 off your purchase or go to magicspoon.com slash Tim Lee. And also, if you're not 100% satisfied with any of the flavors, they'll refund your purchase. So there's really no risk. But to be honest, all the flavors I tried were delicious. So I'm going to finish up my cereal here and uh, we'll go exploring uh, old Vegas or downtown Vegas. Cheers. Mm. Almost four hundred dollars just me and him. Yeah. And it was like for me it was not worth it. So just a quick lift ride and we are in downtown Las Vegas Fremont Street. Ah, and I see the Fremont Street experience. I see George from uh, Vegas Must Try giving that a go. And I think this is a heart attack grill right over there. And that's a red light, but I think the traffic lights are just a suggestion. I'm not going into the heart attack grill. Although, let's take a look. Not for me, no. Let's see. So really nice, but it's blazingly hot here. Uh, what a nice way to start off Vegas. And uh, remember the Fremont Street experience. I saw George from Vegas Must Try uh, do the uh, zip line here. And it looks pretty, it looks pretty intense. 
And when it's blazingly hot like this, nothing wrong with going in under the shade. So it's still a little bit early, but uh, it is getting busy. Oh, look at that. So this is pretty cool. The sky is a screen just the way we like it. And the sun has been replaced by advertising. So I know it's still early and I just had that big bowl of cereal, but I think it's time for a donut. And if I recall, Matthew from Say Hi to Matthew uh, has this, uh, recommends this wonderful donut bar. Uh, I can't wait to check it out. I think it's just within walking distance. So uh, let's go uh, have some donut and maybe a cup of coffee or two. So a little bit disappointed, even though the uh, donut bar closes at 12 or 1, uh, they basically close when they're sold out, and they were sold out. And I heard how great the donuts were, so not a surprise that they were sold out. But that's not going to get me down because, thanks to Bill and Lisa once again, I heard there was a great buffet here called the Main Street Station Buffet. And we're just approaching here. Let's go in and have a feast. Wow, so this is nice and cool and huge ceilings here. Really old school Vegas at its finest. So it's always fun to explore, looking for the buffet. And uh, listening to Bill and Lisa, I heard there were nooks and crannies of pockets of good places to eat, like uh, CM noodles and all that good stuff. Oh, and I think I see the buffet right over there. You know, the nice thing about the Magic Spoon cereal, the high protein cereal, is that you don't get hungry, but if there's a chance, you can still eat. So let's take a look. Oh, not too busy. Wow. So this looks pretty spectacular. It's, I know it's daytime outside, but it doesn't feel like daytime. Uh, come on, let's grab some food. So I got this wonderful table in this magnificent space, uh, thanks to Fina and Rose. Uh, but look at this place. So this is quite a decent buffet and it's only like $20 and really nice with all the exploring on Fremont, the zip lines, the golden nugget, of course. Um, getting kind of thirsty and I can't wait for a bit of a drink first before we hit the buffet. And the wine has arrived. All right, cheers to you. Oh, really nice buttery Chardonnay. And I forgot to mention the buffet again is 20 bucks and the wine is like $5. This is like a quarter of the price of anything on the strip. It's pretty nice. 75% off, but just as good. So with that, let's hit the buffet. I must say it is very comfortable in here and uh, you're not rushed, you're not uh, overly crowded. Really nice. And let's see what they have. So right here, I think this is a hot food station. Lots of nice uh, carveries and uh, potatoes. Really nice comfort food and I'm going to go around to see where the front is. So this is actually in the afternoon and I think this is still considered breakfast or brunch. So let's uh, check this out. So we start at the garden station, the salad station. So this is the garden buffet, so a little bit of veggies is required. So a little bit of lettuce and we have some more good stuff. Some yogurt, some cottage cheese. And look, we have some cream cheese and capers. And where you see cream cheese and capers, I think we'll have salmon next. And of course, there is a salmon. Of course, I uh, had the luxury of looking ahead, so kind of knew this was coming. Salmon number one and salmon number two. But moving along, we have the hot foods coming up. I think this is the Italian station. Lots of hardworking folks cutting the pizza, and I think that's a calzone. With all that effort, I think I got to give it a try. Hi, how are you? You're working so hard. All right, so these are nice and fresh. I definitely have to come back for that. Thank you so much. Really good folks here. Look at that. I don't think I can wait. Uh, I'm going to go for one of the calzones. Oh, blue cheese. Blue cheese. Oh, wow. All right. Gisela? 
thank you so much for all this great food. Uh, I know you're working away, but I'm gonna steal a calzone first. Nice and hot. Okay. Oh, and wonderful cheese. Okay, sorry, and it just stretches right here. And while I was getting the calzone, uh, I think uh, people have dug into this pizza. This is a red wine and blue cheese pizza. That Gisela was saying is really good. And is that a pineapple there? Right here. There's so much good food here, but with the pizza, I don't think I can wait. Uh, let's dig into this while it's nice and molten hot. So I think this is the first time I've been at a buffet. And this is my first round. I think this is the smallest round ever. But there's a reason because of the calzone and that wonderful pizza piping hot, fresh out of the oven. Gotta give it a try. And I think this is a knife and fork situation. Maybe not. Let's see. Oh, nice and crispy. How's the undercarriage? Very nice. Let's give that a try. Mm. Very good. Nice and cheesy. And the uh, dough or the pastry, I guess it's a dough for pizza. Super thin, super crispy. Oh, very nice. Thin, delicious, crispy, very tasty. And it shows with all the great people there with uh, the pride of their work. Really nice. Oh, okay. Definitely one of the best calzones I've had. Let's try that pizza. And I'm just a little concerned. Is that, so this is blue cheese and red wine. And is that a pineapple? Are they paying tribute to Canadians? Mm. <laughs> onion, that's an onion. But let's give the pizza a try. Mm. That's a sign of a good pizza. And even with the blue cheese, it makes it even better. Pizza is very nice, light and mild, and a little bit of blue cheese adds a bit of a kick. But, you know, I think I have an idea. What would make a red wine, blue cheese pizza better? It's a red wine, blue cheese, capers, and salmon pizza. All right, so yet more cheese. Blue cheese, regular cheese, capers. Just a little bit of salmon. Oh, that is heavenly. Wonderful flavor and a little bit of um, saltiness from the smoked salmon. Mmm. So, I think I'm gonna quickly finish up this plate. Mm. And we'll head over to the buffet. Actually, this closes at two o'clock. And it's kind of in the afternoon now. So I'm gonna watch my time. And I'll finish this post taste and we'll take you back. Cheers. So I got my plate and uh, looks like the pizza station is fully stocked now. And now moving on to uh, some of the hot foods. Okay, we have some pasta and some marinara sauce and Alfredo sauce. I think what we can do with the salmon, I wonder if we can do a salmon Alfredo. Maybe next time, too many carbs, but look at this. Some nice veggies in the form of potato. Uh, with the French toast and the pancake. Go for a little bit of the French toast. With some syrup and strawberry. So this is really brunch. Hey Maria, how are you? This looks amazing. Uh, it, it, you're closing shortly, but everything is still fully stocked. This is great. Crispy bacon, and they're nice and thin like bacon chips. Right there. Ah, oh, some scrambled eggs. Some sausage. Oh, scalloped potatoes. Oh, and cinnamon crepes. So I think we'll do a sausage right here. Top with that wonderful scalloped potato. And then further top with some scrambled eggs with a bacon chip for garnish. And we can't forget an apple cinnamon crepe as well. 
Oh, and it keeps getting better. And I was aware of this from Bill and Lisa. I think there is a nice Hawaiian selection. We've got breakfast loco moco. I think it's a bit of rice at the bottom. Oh, this is Eggs Benedict, Hawaiian style. I can't wait to try that. Moving on, we've got the country gravy. And where you see country gravy, you'll see chicken fried steak. Maybe let's go for a chicken fried steak. But those biscuits look superb. Nice and golden. And a smothering of country gravy. A little bit of sausage in there. And a wonderful carvery station. Oh, the carvery looks amazing. Beautiful ham, nice and pink. Thank you. Can I get a little bit of ham? Oh, oh that's beautiful. Thank you so much. You have a good day. All right, nice and fatty. And then we see an omelet station. Oh, wow. I got everything. That the plane is right here. Hey, Kim, how are you? Hi. Hi, I'm fine. Oh, can I get an omelette? Yes, sure. Okay, I'll get you. Uh, well, how about some uh, tomatoes, jalapeno, bacon and ham, and cheese? Okay. Basically everything. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> All right, so Kim is fantastic and this omelette is heavy. But let's see what we have more coming up. So we have the soya chicken. Oh, look at that wonderful skin. Some fried rice. And I think this is a Hawaiian dish. This is Kalua pork with cabbage. Normally, I would not go for this. But after watching Bill and Lisa, I think I'm going to give that a try. So some more rice and the Kalua pork like spaghetti on the rice. So next we have a Hawaiian stew and not much remaining. But let's see what we have here. Just a little bit. That's all we need. This is a brunch buffet and for a brunch buffet it's pretty big. And now we have some more. I think this is the last hot food station. So I think this is the comfort food area. More gratin potatoes. Collard greens. Some carrots. And I can't say no to a good meatloaf, but I'm just going to do half of a half. There we go. With the gravy and back for a bit of the collard greens right here. So they have some barbecue chicken and they have the soyu chicken, so I'm going to skip. Oh, but if it was fried chicken, it'll definitely be on the plate. Ooh, some fish. Oh, looks really good. Surf and turf. Some mac and cheese, that looks really good. Oh, and some potatoes. Oh, I should have got some of that for the meatloaf, and I think I will. And definitely a bit of gravy for the potato and the meatloaf. Okay. All right, so what was lacking in the first round, I certainly made up for it in spades. Look at all these dishes here. And when I was walking back, they had a refill of the Hawaiian stew and it looked too tempting not to get a bowl full. And this was the earlier breakfast plate or the brunch plate with the sausage, potato, scrambled eggs and a bacon topping a monstrosity here. And wonderful loco moco. I got to give that a try. And this is the omelette from Kim, which has been upgraded with a bit of smoked salmon on the top. And I made a trip to the salad station to get the salmon. And this is a comfort food with a Kahlua pork. I can't wait to give that a try. Uh, all the comforting uh, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese. But the first thing I'm going to dig into is that loco moco with the knife and fork. So before we cut into it, I think, yeah, there's the hamburger and uh, the rice and the egg. And I think this might have been waiting for a little bit too long. It feels a little hard. Yeah, but that's okay. Let's give that a try. So let's get a little bit of something. We've got the egg, a little bit of the rice, the gravy. Cheers. Mm. It's like a whole meal in one bite. A layer of egg, rice, and protein in the form of a wonderful hamburger. Mm. Oh, I can't wait <clears throat> to try something deep fried the country fried steak. Since we have a knife and fork, might as well put it to good use. Oh, nice and crispy. 
and crunchy. Lots of gravy. Mm. Just the way a country fried steak ought to be. And the mystery meat uh, in the nicest possible way and a crunchy, crispy coating. Mm. Very nice. And again, I can't get over how comfortable and inviting this buffet is. Mm. So moving on, let's go back to breakfast. A little bit of a bacon platform on which the corned beef hash resides. There we go. Mm. Crispy bacon. Not sure where the smokiness is coming from. The corned beef or the bacon, but potatoes add a nice texture. Mm. Very nice. And I can't wait to try the Hawaiian plate and the comfort food plate. The Kulua pork looks really good. Wonderful sauce. A little bit of cabbage. Come on. There we go. Mmm. Mmm. That pork is so melt in the mouth tender. Cabbage is really nice. It does need a bit of seasoning though. Really fresh flavor. A little bit of sweetness from the cabbage. But I think I know how to make it even better. We just need something salty. So I think the Hawaiian stew, the gravy from there, along with the pork, would make a wonderful combination. There we go. Oh, very good. And I don't know if it's the Hawaiian stew, that's good, or the Kalua pork. I think I'm gonna dig into that Hawaiian stew. Oh, look at this, chunks of beef. Nice potato that is spoon soft. Get a little bit of that together. Along with a little bit of rice. Mm. Very good. Wonderful tang from the stew. I'm not sure it's a toss up between the Kalua pork and the Hawaiian stew, but I think I'm going to finish all this up and I hope they're not closing soon. Uh, they seem to be dying down, but still look really soft. So I'm going to finish this up really quickly and go for dessert. My goodness, that was a lot of food and I was really rushing it, but very tasty because I know they're closing up soon. Everything was really good. The soyu chicken, uh, wonderful. And what I like about it is that that wonderful chicken skin, that omelet from Kim was delicious. Lots of cheesy goodness. And I noticed it had spinach in it, but I think since I was asking for everything, uh, she threw in the spinach for good measure. And I think that ultimate breakfast bite with the sausage, potato, and scrambled eggs, really good. I think that's how I'm gonna eat my breakfast bites from now on. So I think we're ready for dessert now that we have a little bit of room left. Uh, come on, uh, let's go before it closes down. So we have the no sugar added section and then some more desserts coming. Ooh, assorted pies. That one looks very good. Carrot cake, cheesecakes. Oh, and I think that's a better version of this one. Cher uh, cherry pie, chocolate cake, peach, and the quintessential apple pie and chocolate mousse. So the desserts are pretty modest here, uh, but I think I'm gonna go for a slice of pie and maybe a slice of cake. So not bad, but you know what? They have ice cream too. Let's take a look. So not too bad, lots of desserts in one hand. Uh, let's go back and enjoy. All right, so yeah, again, a modest dessert station, but you're always gonna find something you like. Uh, wonder, I think this is a coconut pie. Let's give that a try. Oh, perfect. Mm. It is a coconut pie. Luscious cream on top, like a light cloudy filling, wonderful coconut custard, and nice pastry at the bottom. 
Mm. And I can't think of a better match than carrot cake and ice cream. Let's flip it over. A wonderful ratio. A little bit of ice cream. Mmm. 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 The carrot cake on its own was good. The ice cream was painful. I think a few of you might have seen that coming. Ooh. So, really nice here. This is the Garden Buffet at Main Street Station. I think this is the only buffet in the uh, downtown Vegas. Really nice, really comfortable. And look at this place. So I think I was a little bit disappointed of not being able to visit the donut bar, but uh, being able to make it to the buffet before it closes is uh, actually not too bad as well. So I think I'm gonna call it a short uh, visit to downtown Vegas, but don't worry, it looks phenomenal and there will be more. And again, really thank you to uh, Bill and Lisa for uh, all the great recommendations. There's a CM noodle place that I wanted to try and uh, I'll, I'll see if it's open, but I think it's probably closed. So I think I'm just gonna call it a day and really grateful for you to join. And also really grateful for Magic Spoon for sponsoring this video. Again, um, really nice to have a high protein breakfast that keeps you going throughout the day. And a cereal with no sugar, little carbs, and high protein is phenomenal. Uh, really allows you to have your Saturday morning memories of that great cereal breakfast in front of the cartoon uh, stations. Uh, really nice to have. And now you can. So give it a try. Uh, again, visit magicspoon.com, uh, Tim Lee, to save $5 off your purchase, or go to magicspoon.com slash Tim Lee. And also, thank you so much for joining. And until we see each other again, I wish you all the best uh, to good health, uh, good eating, uh, take care, God bless, all the best. Very nice.